Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a new video tonight. I'm super excited as I've heard amazing things so far as I'm off to see The Picture of Dorian Gray starring the one and only Sarah Snook who obviously recently won a Golden Globe for her role in Succession. I personally can't wait to see her. I've heard that it's literally all screens and her on stage for a full two hours and it's running at the Theatre Royal Haymarket for only 14 weeks. So I feel incredibly lucky to have been invited tonight and I can't wait. So without further ado, let's go to the Theatre Royal Haymarket to see the picture of Dorian Gray starring Sarah Snook. <laughs> Look at this guys. Ooh. Well, well, well. Oh, this is so pretty. And then there's my ticket inside. Ooh, wow, very nice. Very nice indeed. So the picture of Dorian Gray, which I saw last night at the Theatre Royal Haymarket, absolutely blew me away. I have never seen a show quite like this. Um, it heavily relies on projections, but Sarah Snook literally plays every single character. And the wizardry of the stage crew team with the cameras, with the set, with the props, blew my mind. All of her changes are on stage. It's two hours straight through. Um, and the moment towards the end had me shaking, like I literally was shook. Um, I had goosebumps. I've never seen acting like this. Like Sarah Snook is incredible. Her facial expressions, the way she embodies every single character differently. But my favorite part about this production was the use of cameras. It's unlike any other camera use I've seen before. Um, not only do you have Sarah appearing next to her on other cameras, there was also a moment with obviously Dorian Gray is um, basically selling their soul um, to popularity and there's moments uh, where they have a filter on her phone that she's using which is projected and gradually slowly but surely you see how she can photoshop her image and change it and it's all about how, um, how fake image can be online um, and obviously Dorian paints himself as this perfect person um, but never actually has success. Um, the only thing that Dorian ends up doing is murdering which is horrific um, but it's played out by Dorian, um, played out by Sarah Snook as Dorian in the most incredible way like this woman can act. I this is the best female-led show, like solo female-led show or one-woman show, one-person show, in fact, that I've seen since Jodie Comer. Like, there's truly nothing like this out there. And I mean from the technical aspect. So I've got to give a big shout out to all of the stage crew involved and everybody on stage because they were literal wizards. Um, honestly, if you want an incredible night out at the theatre that you'll never forget, you've got to see Sarah Snook in The Picture of Dorian Gray. I was shook, I had shivers. Sarah is honestly a spectacle to watch in this one and it's definitely my play to see. Like, you've got to see it to believe it. Like, it was actually mind blowing. It was so clever how all of the screens came down, how she interacted with the screens, how she played all of the different roles, including the narrator and then all of the other characters. Like, oh, it was so clever. 
absolute genius and honestly it doesn't matter how many reviews you read or see of this none of them can fully put into perspective what it's like to be in the room when Sarah Snook is acting and be in the room when the, the stage crew are doing all of those amazing things like uh, you don't even notice the, the stage crew are there but like because you're so immersed in what Sarah's doing as the characters you don't really notice them there but I love that the stage crew got involved in dancing in the club scenes I love that the stage crew are heavily involved you see them do all of the makeup and costume changes throughout as well which was amazing like literally Sarah Snook does not leave the stage for two hours and neither do that stage crew um, and the sheer size of the Theatre Royal Haymarket I've never seen it stripped back this mu much before but the way that all the screens and by the way the screens aren't just one size there's multiple screens with different sizes and they move across which I've never seen in a theatre show before like the screens with her face move across and all the way around very very clever very very technical shout out to again to all the stage crew team you are incredible and uh, also want to say a well done to Lizzie as well who I know also is working on the stage crew absolutely incredible just amazing like if you can get a ticket there is a, a weekly lottery on Today Ticks, definitely enter it. Um, and also, if you just keep checking the website, there are often various different tickets that appear as well, because I know this is going to be a hot hit, so be sure to run and get your tickets. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this, and a huge thank you to um, the team at Dorian Gray. I loved seeing it. I felt so lucky to be there on press night. also loved the invite case. I'm definitely going to be keeping that. Um, it's going to be a treasured memory. It's beautiful. It says West End Premier on it, which is very cool with my name in the Dorian Gray text, which is wicked. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching this. If you did enjoy it, be sure to like and subscribe. I had a fantastic time anyway. Congratulations, Sarah. Congratulations to everybody involved. Huge congratulations to all of the producing team as well. Like, what's amazing is this actually originated in Australia with a different actress. Um, but I just find it so cool that it's come to London. Like, I feel so lucky that it's come here as well. So it was originally first produced by Sydney Theatre Company on the 28th of November 2020 at the Roslyn Packer Theatre in Sydney, which is very, very cool. Thank you so much for watching this. If you did enjoy it, be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!